All right, welcome back, everybody. It's me, Burrito. We're back in the 190 series. Today, we are starting off with checking out the Ewok Festival of Love, which has started today, February 12th. It's going to run to May March 14th, I think. So about a month. The Ewok Festival of Love has three locations to visit. Similar life day. We're here in Kadara on Naboo. So up here, northeast corner. If you do the Legacy, you know where this is. We're right outside the starport around the corner. The other locations you can go to is the uh, Ewok Lake Village. That's like in the south central part of Endor. It's a point of interest. Alternatively, you can go to Tyrena. The main places you want to visit during the update are Tyrena and Kadara. Tyrena has a unique quest regarding a Cupid. Our Cupid servant. Cupid servant. Uh, he is outside of Tyrena on a beach in a hut and he's uh have his he's been disillusioned with the ewok festival of love and you're there to help him get back on the right track uh we're not going to be doing that though today maybe i'll do that later uh but that is a quest that's always repeat gets reset everywhere every year you can redo it but what all three locations have are they have the disciple of benjamin that's it it's benjamin yes and then th this guy will actually give you the quest to go see benjamin and tyrena so that's what that's about. So if you're in Kadar, you can speak to the Disciple of Benjamin to get to it. Uh, you also have... Where is it? Uh, the Matchmaking Droid, which gives you a daily quest. There is a Matchmaking Droid in Tyrena, uh, Endor, and Kadara. So there are all, all three locations. It doesn't matter which one you go to. You just go to one, and then you do these once per day. And you'll have a mission regarding um, matchmaking NPCs. You'll basically be given one. It's in your data pad. They'll tell you what their preference is, and then you have to run around the city to find uh, potential matchmaking partners. Those partners will be indicated like this guy over here. That's a terminal. Uh, this guy over here, he has a present above his head. And so you talk to them, and they do a little matchmaking thing. Again, I'm not going to do that today. I want to get into the meat of uh, today's content. Um, every location, though, does have a Festival of Love vendor. Now, what's important is that the Ewok Festival of Love, like Life Day, has consumable buff items, and those buff items can be very handy. However, there's an extra step to getting one of those. So if you go in here, and let's see here. Um, is it this guy, or do I have to talk to the other guy? I think I have to talk to the other guy. Shit. Alright, where's the Wookiee? I mean, Ewok. Sorry. There he is. There's Low Gray. Talk to Low Gray. He's selling shack juice and Cambry berries. Buy the Cambry berries. And then go over to the fountain and open up your radio menu with the tilde and do dip berries in chocolate. That turns them into this. Chocolate covered Cambry berries, which then give you a movement bonus and an experience bonus. 2%. Just like your preferred milk, I'm sure. And then there's also Chak Juice, which you do not have to dump your Chak Juice in the Chocolate Fountain. That just gives you straight up uh, damage increase and action cost reduction. Again, similar to Life Day. Let's eat those. Then you buy another set. Dip the berries. Drink the juice. Do that. And then um, you do that one more time. And we can keep those in inventory and consume that later. So yeah, definitely do this during the event. Especially if you're going to do PvP. Do some PvE like we we're going to do good bonus or maybe you're just leveling up a character maybe you want that extra two percent xp you really optimize your craft or leveling game going back to the other vendor though this is the one that sells you items that you don't dip in the fountain what you do is um yeah from your dailies you'll get ewok festival love chalk hearts which are basically chalk hearts if you're familiar with um valentine's day in the u.s chalk hearts are a classic um treat i'm not a big fan kaz loves them though uh but you have stuff like it's a little cute plush which this one might be new there's a few new items this year i don't know which ones are but this one looks new to me i don't remember seeing that one uh lantern bird bone flute that sounds cool that's a instrument for an entertainer there is also love oh this one's normal it's a rose rug yeah, so there's some that some people should like remember. Colors of Love painting, and that's from previous years. You get a plush wicket, and that was from previous years also. Maybe. 
Yeah, so if you want decorative decorative items, this is where you would get them from your dailies. This is where you spend your chalk hearts. Um, you can get the coveted. Uh, this is best in slot medic weapon, the Ewok Festival Love Crossbow. Uh, it's best in slot medic weapon because it does um, basically no damage. And you're, you know, you're setting the heart. You're setting the heals, right? It's not. I'm messing with you. And I don't believe it can be recrafted. It's, it's just for memes. It's a meme weapon. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. You can get the coveted uh, uh, wings, which there are wings of specific colors and types. So, like the pink one, the blue one, which reminds me of the wings of, from um, if you played Sonic Adventure 2. The Chow Garden, there was a specific creature. It wasn't the Phoenix. It was one of the other ones. If you give that bird one of your Chow, it gives it wings that looks like this. That I know, deep cut. Uh, you also have the golden wings. Uh, but if you want a wings of a specific color, there is a schematic for wings. You just have to take it to a domestics tailor to craft it, and then they can select the color that you want somewhere in here. Same thing with like um, some other items. Oh yeah, custom halo. Get a different halo color if you don't like the standard, you know, goldish halo. The important and unique thing about Kadara, though, as a location for Ewok Festival of Love, which is why I want to come here, is if you also come up to the um, chocolate fountain here, bring up that menu again and do examine, you'll see that there's a timer. This timer counts down to the Mr. Hate event, and I believe it happens every 45 minutes or hour or something. So every, like, you know, whatever amount of time passes, an NPC called Mr. Hate is going to basically spawn in the city. And if he gets to the fountain, um, you lose. And life days over for, you know, uh, narratively. Oh, no, Mr. Hate won. Hate won because love didn't, right? So this event has players going around the city to spots that are called out via the communicator uh, from Cupid, which is the Ewok um main ewok a festival of love looks like this guy basically just he's a different dude and he'll be like mr hates over by the cantina or whatever and you got to run over there you have to st um stop mr hate by defeating mr hates disciples that spawn which are like strong ewoks and um you do that a couple of times and eventually mr hate will spawn somewhere else and try and march here and then Benjamin will appear at the fountain, and you have to protect Benjamin from losing to Mr. Hate by defeating Mr. Hate's uh, disciples. And then you defeat Mr. Hate by spamming, like, I think it's like hug or love on him or something. And then you win. So the reason you see a bunch of players AFKing around here, though, that's why I have the names off, because I didn't want like it to lag or anything, is because you just, for the, count, for the participation account, you just need to be in the area. <laughs> You don't actually need to do anything. Granted, if no one stops Mr. Hate, Hate wins. And there's two collections. There's one for letting Hate win and one for stopping Hate. So most people, you'll see a lot of people AFKing this area, especially at the beginning of the event, hoping just to get credit for free. Some people are AFKing here because they'll tap back and come back to this character while they're playing another character or whatever or doing something else. But yeah, that's why you see a lot of people just kind of vibing here. You don't see as many people vibing at the other locations, especially the Ewok Tree Village, because... And like this one or Tyrena, there's no unique reason to visit it other than it's this the Ewok Tree Village. Maybe Cupid hangs out there. I don't care, though. But that is basically the fast rundown of Ewok Festival of Love. Again, maybe I'll do this some other time. But I want to go do the Warren. So let's head out there. Okay, so we are back here at the Warren. If you watch the one to 90 series at this point, you know we've been here at least once before. We had to escort a... Um, scientists out of the building for figuring out about um that one bounty hunter that had some problem with the Bubba Fett. Uh I already forgot his name. But either way, uh you know the drill to get inside. First we gotta talk to an escapee who still here. Hey it's a Botham, what's good? What's that place? Uh what's so bad about it? Where is it? It's this unspeakable horrors ter terrible it gives you a waypoint. If you already have this waypoint they're going to give you it again every time, so feel free to delete it if you got doubles. But the reason we have to talk to him again is because every time we go in, the every time we leave the Warren, the instance resets, basically. Well, it's not an instance. So, for those who don't know, the Warren is an open-world dungeon. It's one of the early ones introduced in the game's lifetime. And instead of being instance like the Kubaza Beetle Cavern, HK, 
or uh, the Old Republic facility that we were on in Mustafar, this one is open to all players. So if I go inside and anyone else is participating in the Warren right now, we're going to see them. So that also means that some progress is shared, and I will go over to those points when we get there. This is not a good thing, by the way. Don't take this as a, oh, this I, I can skimp out and like not do some of the stuff. No, 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 no. It's an inconvenience. We'll get there, though. But every time you leave the Warren, it resets. This is the same for the Geonosian Cave and the Death Watch Bunker. So any open world dungeon, once you exit the front door that you came through, it resets. So even though we had a pass key to this place last time, because we left, it reset. So we wouldn't be able to go in without this pass key, which is why I had to go get it again. This is probably the easiest of the three main open world dungeons in the game. Uh, Geonosian Cave would be the second easiest. Definitely a step up and challenge from this one. And then the Death Watch Bunker would definitely be the hardest. But let's head inside. Doesn't look like anyone's around here, but they might be on a lower floor. So we've been granted access to the research facility. We're going to come downstairs. And I'm going to be honest with you all. I don't remember this one terribly much. Uh, I know how to get down to the Hawkback because I do that a lot. But I don't remember all of the um, uh, tasks we have to do to get the two badges associated with this. But I'm going to try my best. So I think the first thing you need to do is come right. And we're going to need to get access to some elevators. So to do that, we want to come up into here in this room where these Imperial workers are fighting off these Hurtons that are just everywhere. And inside, you'll see a lot of labeled containers. The corpses are containers. But what you're going to go up is you're going to open this metal chest. And inside, if you get lucky, you'll find a Master Pass Key 2. So we're going to take that. Wow, someone's city radius encompasses part of the Warden. Warren, that's interesting. Anyways, we're going to come over and open this corpse. Uh, the letter's not important, but we'll uh, grab it, and then I'll read that to you. Uh, the locker. Let's grab the pass key three. The corpse. Pass key one. And I think that's all the pass keys that we need, but let's check this mag seal. Actually, no, there is another one. Pass key four. So there are four pass keys, and there is one letter. So this is part of the shared dungeon experience. If you were to come in here right now and click on those containers that I just clicked on, they would be empty. Those pass keys slash letters won't reappear for 30 minutes. On Legends, this might be lowered, but that is the normal timer for this place. So I have gated anybody who is not grouped with me because progress is shared within a group. So you can do this with friends. But I've gated anyone who's not actively grouped with me out of progressing in this dungeon for 30 minutes. Not that I've sunk in. <laughs> Let's pick up the white Thranta Lance. Oh no, the Hurtens don't like it. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. This was just a reminder again. If you're picking up a collection item, everything's going to want to kill you for it. Because why wouldn't they? Oh, my AoEs were too big. Let's pick up the white Thranta Lance. Cool. So we add that to our melee weapons Mark IV collection. Now let's read that letter. Again, this isn't critical for going down the dungeon. So if you're just grinding out like some loot down there for uh, some DNA, uh, this isn't important. You don't even have to take it out of the container. This is the pass keys. But if we want to read this, we says, Dearest Merla... We don't know what has happened down below, but shortly after the Imperials arrived, the beasts broke out of their cages and began a terrible rampage. There's carnage everywhere here, and I don't think we're going to last much longer. I want you to know that I love you very much, as much today as the day of our marriage. I hope that you have found a safe place to hide until help arrives. I'm writing this farewell letter in hopes that someone will find it and deliver it to you, because... I don't think I'm going to make it out of here alive. Don't grieve me. I have known more happiness in the past few years than anyone deserves, and I'll always be with you in your heart. I love you. So this letter, like I said, you don't need this to go down the facility, but if you're trying to get the badges like I'm doing here, you do need it because we're going to go find this man's wife and deliver the letter as requested, as his last will, I suppose. But now that we have the pass keys, we got to double back. Because we got to activate some things. And I think my memory is coming back. This should be the elevator room. Correct. Don't need to go in there yet. This corpse, just for anyone doesn't freak out, has a turret sequence. I don't think this is important. Icolog? 
I'll take it. I don't think I need that, though. Maybe I do. We'll find out. <laughs> Together. All right, let's go, uh, I think, this way. I think I have to go both down doors. Both door, both doorways. Maybe not. I think this is an elevator to somewhere else. Oh wait, can I turn this off? Master control room tour defense is active. Speak the passcode to detect, deactivate the mercurids. What? <laughs> that's how that works yeah all right so that turret sequence we updated it gives us a password icolog and i speak in spatial chat it deactivated the turrets so if you're having a hard time with the turrets that's how you do that man i wonder what the scripting was like for that one it's probably less complicated than i think it is but <laughs> that's good why is this one table whatever all right, well, uh, we got to go down the other door that we didn't go in. Is it this one? Or was it the other one? There's two doors in that room, and then one of them we have to go out the other one. Shit. Other way. Once I start going to the walkthrough, I will admit it. But I'm trying to remember this, at least. So yeah, that way, that way, this, this way. This might be an elevator. Okay, yeah, yeah, we don't even go down that way yet. This is a gamer challenge. The warn doesn't take that long compared to um, Death Watch. Unless you miss the pass keys, then it takes a while. <laughs> uh, here's an escape worker. Who are you? I am a contract worker hired by Colonel Theroud to keep expanding this facility, which is crazy given how big it is already. What is this place? The workers call this place the Warrens. Are there more workers here? There are many workers trapped down below. What happened here? An Imperial bigwig came to visit Trurad and something bad happened. Crazed lab animals burst out of the elevator going down and attacked the workers, killing many of them. What do you mean trapped? The elevator down is locked and it can't be only unlocked from the master control room by using four pass keys, but you'll never get to the master control room without the turret defense passcode. What's the passcode? I don't know. The only one who knew the passcode is dead by the elevator now. Oh, this is helpless. Okay, so he gives you instructions on what to do. So if you're trying to do this in lore, like how are you supposed to figure out any of this? He tells you. Um, okay. I think I have to go back this way. I'm. Oh wait, maybe it's this way, and I go left. I'm trying to unearth the memories. Okay, this is this is locked. Correct. Okay, so that one's locked. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Okay, yeah. So I had the right direction. I think I had to go down that elevator with the probot in it. There's a lot of elevators in the Warrens. <laughs> so you'll see me doing a lot of wait. This elevator? No. This elevator? No. This elevator? Yes. So this has an up button, which is hilarious because... You think you are in the top floor, but no, this is where we need to be. Okay, good. So we have these Rogue 52s in here. And all we have to do is we have to run and click these terminals. So that one's off. This is what we're using the pass keys for. Yeah, you can see one of them got consumed. I'll click this one. You'll see one of these three disappear. Off. There goes that one. Off. I'm a dingus. Did I skip this one? I did off okay so we've turned all them off so we should be able to use the elevator i think by their hurting to go down because i don't think this can go down any further yeah no okay so we're done over here for now if i can get through this whole place without looking at the walkthrough I will be impressed with myself. I'm going to be real. Okay, so we go over here. And then we go over here. We go down. Okay. I don't think these lockers are important. 
Yeah, it has the option to open, but it just doesn't. Sick. Okay, so this is a uh, one of the floors full of the ravage animals that are hanging out. Most of them are just kind of like vibing. Can't attack most of them. There is a um, boss type enemy over here, though, whose level is going to be a little bit off. Level 70 versus all the 50s you were fighting. 111,000 health. You know, those spider clan uh, members we were fighting earlier were uh, scarier. So I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna let's get him. Oh yeah, that's easy. Are we gonna get lucky on the loot, everybody? This is one of the two reasons to come down on the warren right here. Unstable crack tooth narglatch. Nope. So the Unstable Cracktooth Narglatch has a chance to drop DNA for the Cracktooth Narglatch, which is a rare variant of the Narglatch. I don't think its abilities are any different. It just looks different. It looks like this. I mean, well, except not dead. It's got, like, scars on it and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a fairly popular one, feline, to get. Um, I don't know what the odds are on the drop. I want to say 50% based on my experience, so... But I have no stats for that. But if we come in here, we can fight a dying loyalist, and he's got no shirt on. All he says is in a scared tone. Wow, the shock must have broken the cyborg circuitry. I can think on my own again. It was horrible. I volunteered to be one of Tarud's loyalists, but the cyborg device was controlling my mind. Look out for Tarud. He's a megalomaniac, and he thinks he can topple the Emperor. Whoa, dude, the Emperor? No way. I don't think this is the way we need to go, but... There's more cyborgs back here, but they want to fight. I just want to see what's back here. I, I believe there's a different elevator we need to go down. Oh, no, this one works. Oh, cool. No, we're on the bottom floor. Sick. I don't know why I don't remember the cyborgs. All right, either way, we're on the bottom floor of the war now. I am trying to remember what we need to do here. This is where my memory goes blank, because usually I only come down here to fight the Gackle, uh, the Winkleth Hotback for DNA. Also, you'll see that these Imperial workers are neutral. I think if you're Rebel, they'll actually aggress you. Oh, there's two elevators down. I usually take the other one. Yeah, this is the one I normally take. So there was this Crocktooth Narglash right there. I came in, and I went that way. This is the elevator I usually take. That's why I don't remember them. Either way, okay, so we're on the bottom floor. I gotta find... That wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, so these officers are neutral. Oh, they're not immediately hostile, but because of my faction rating being negative 5,000 with the Empire, uh, yeah, they, uh, they're they not happy with me. So they're going to attack me on site. But if you don't have a negative faction saying with the Empire or they don't, you know, if you're not flagged, they won't hit you. Wait, I'm not flagged, right? Yeah, I'm rebel and leave. Yeah, so they don't really care about your faction allegiance. Whatever. Hey, guys. Can I hit that switch? I did do something. These guys are tickling me. I'm just going to ignore them. Who's down here? What are you guarding? Cell is locked. Authorization. Speak the password to unlock cell. Oh, right. Um, this isn't appear in your spiritual chat. I'm just going to put it in here. This is the note. No. Command. This is the note command. Speak the password to unlock the cell. I don't know the password. Shit. This isn't the password. This is just the thing. Whatever. Okay, we've got, we got to find that password, I think. What's in here? A researcher. You guys really want to do this? Okay. You, do you want to talk to me? It's hopeless. The reactor core is going to blow. I'll die. What do we do? The only way to fix it is to get to the spare reactor core rods from the basement behind the holding pen. The backup system should have taken over, but I think it was mainly overridden. Okay, so we got to go downstairs even further. That's back, back here. A locked door. There's some crazy scientists locked in there. It's some neat storytelling, but if you don't have a like, character name, well, I guess Bell Silverwood still show it. 
Well, anyways, let's go this way. I don't think there's anything cool in this room. There's some Imperials shooting each other. Not that cool. Down here we got some... Oh yeah, reactor overload imminent, control center lockdown initiated. Okay, can I go in here? I know there's some areas that are locked until I do certain things. There's nothing in here. Like, can I use this elevator? Yeah, okay. This is the basement, yeah? Oh, these loyalists must have done something stupid. But there's nothing to interact with down here. Hey, you guys. I know you're going to try and kill me anyway, so here you go. Here's a bunch of grenades. Uh, This is an interesting area. There's literally nothing to click on down here. Unless I'm blind. Well, we're going to pass by the wing clip hawk bat, so I guess we'll go beat that up, yeah. I think that's doable for us. So in here, you'll find the Unstable Winkler Talk Bat. This one's a little bit stronger than the uh, Cracked Tooth and Arglatch. This one, again, uh, you can't extract the DNAs from these creatures. You have to loot it. It's a chance to loot. I think it's probably like 50-50 or something. But let's uh, drop that there. I love these guys, by the way. They're one of my favorite creatures in the games. They're also, I think, one of three bat creatures in the entire Beast Mastery catalog. So, um... And I believe it's the only one that has offensive stats in it, with it being uh, a balanced type of pet. So a little bit offense, a little bit in defense. The other ones are defense-oriented. Fortunately, we did not get the, the DNA. Oh, well. They have a pretty long spawn timer, I believe. I think it's at least half an hour. Uh, goes with the theme of uh, half hour on key cards, half hour on um, bosses. But you can stay down here unless you log out. Once you log out, you can't get out of here. So, Or once you, get, once you log out, it boots you outside when you log back in. All right, so we can't go in that door, so let's try going down this way. Let's check this dead end room, maybe? Nah, I'll go down. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's see what's in here. We got a cyborg, got a mag seal container. Anything cool in there? No. Anything cool in here? No. What's down here? Cyborg, very empty rooms. Weirdly empty rooms. Hello, doctor. Bye, doctor. What's in here? A wearables factory. You guys making clothes? This is like bigger than a normal one, though. I guess this is a meta. I've never seen an underground bunker layout like the specific room, or like it looks like a pot with handles. Download evidence. Download evidence complete. Where did I download it? My data pad. Where the f whatever. Oh, I might need to look at the walkthrough. <laughs> I'm running out of rooms, guys. Wait a second. Used to play here. Sup, Kane, the OG. If you used to play here, then you must be an OG for sure. Well, there's that elevator. I think this is the elevator that came down in. No, this is Cyborg Doom Lizard. What's cybernetic about it? Like it's I? Active data terminal. Doesn't do anything. You played on live though? Sig. I played on live for a little bit. I'm not much of a party thrower though, so you probably beat me on the Legends notoriety. Hey, that's not what I need. I need the, f I need the rods. Where are your rods at? What server? Flurry. 
I technically started on Nautilus, but I did I barely played on Nautilus, so I mostly played on Flurry. I consider Flurry my home server. Empty room again. Oh, wait, this goes down. You're eclipsing your far star, nice. Oh, hey, debris. Oh, hey, here's Mirla. It's the trapped wife. Hi. Saab, what, what do you want? What's wrong? How can you ask me that? Have you seen how crazy this place is? The stormtroopers killing everything in sight? The cyborgs rampaging through the corridors? I was lucky enough to find a place to hide, but my husband, he was on the first floor, and I don't know if he made it out alive, if he knows I'm okay. I have some bad news. He's fucking dead. But as we tell her that, we get the War and Compassion badge, which is one of the two badges we can get from this. Um, she says, my husband is dead? Oh, no. I should have known. That bad man, Terard... This is all his fault. Thank you for delivering this letter, but please, you have to take him down. I will. The first thing you should do is go to the Inquisitor. Terard's men captured her and put her in a cell upstairs. You'll need a passcode to unlock the door, but I can tell you what it is. What is it? Colerick. Oh, okay. We can get in that door now. That's not what I wanted to do. Not knows. Colerick sick thanks lady use the guide yeah i know I'm, I'm considering it i wanted to try and do this from memory i did this like two two and a half years ago in legends on my medic but i haven't done it since then i only would ever come in here to get the hawk bat and narglatch d and day and you do not need to do much in here to do that <laughs> you just need the pass keys she, I think her tall slider is set to max, and the problem is my short slider is set to min. So I am the shortest I could be in her. She's like one of the tallest you could be. <laughs> so we have that disparity showing there. Okay, so that prisoner was back past the... Oh, man. Was it the... Yeah, it was this room. I don't know why they put a level 18 guarding, but I know this is... I think this is pre-CU content. It might be CU. I'd have to look at the patch notes. But that's probably why the levels are so wonk. So you used to play here, Kane? Where do you play now? Or are you just on a galaxy's hiatus? Okay, that door opened with that. Well, I think the Inquisitor died. Okay, so we picked up... Boyo, Imperial Communication to this. That is, contains a confidential Imperial Communication. It reads... I like that the title is Star Wars Galaxies. Attacked by a surprise en route to the research facility's lower levels, Tarad is nowhere to be seen, but his loyalists ambushed my stormtrooper escort. We were divided in the battle, and I've been badly wounded, captured, and thrown into his cell. I do not expect help to arrive in time. Any Imperial citizen that finds the communication disc, consider this a direct order from the Imperial Inquisitor, Jana Bel Ard. Locate evidence to prove that Colonel Tarard is a traitor and a madman. He cannot be allowed to disrupt the peace and order of the Empire. Blast your way through the Warren, as they call it here. <laughs> Title drop, if you must, but locate enough evidence to bring it down. The might of the Empire on the would be desp. Uh, bring down the might of the Empire that would be despot. Deliver this letter of evidence. Deliver this letter and the evidence you collect to the Captain Hef and Thief Palace Naboo. The Captain will honor uh, know what to do. Okay, so now we have to go start collecting evidence. I think I have to go find those data terminals I was clicking on, and I think I have to find those rods still. I think I'm gonna have to look at the wiki for the rods. I know there's this lockdown override switch one that I clicked on earlier. I don't know. That, I don't think it did anything. It said overload one active maybe i have to find the other ones i know there's an elevator we didn't use back this way so maybe i should try that elevator the reason i'm trying to use without a guide is because i did the um, death watch bunker quest for all minerals without a guide 
So I feel like I have the capabilities of figuring this out. The question is, do I have the patience? Okay, this was... Yeah, we didn't go down here yet. This is a dead end. Let me check this first. Active data terminal. Can't do anything with it. Um, How'd you... Did you carry the bones in here? Or, like, how did you fit something this big through that door when it was alive? Doubt. I'm doubting. <gasps> An alter ATST level 55. Oh, dude. What are we going to do? It's going to kill me. It has less HP than the Bat and the Narglatch. Also, I like how they just had this giant ass hanger and then just put the structure factory in here and scaled it up. One thing that I do want to say that this vibe, you know, what it reminds me of is everyone's ever played Shadows in the Empire, the Hoth level, where you're in the hangar and then you have to fight an ATSC with a damn pistol at the end. That boss fight sucks, but it's burning in my brain. That on the Wampos. You know what? I have to take out my rage on this thing. I won't be satiated. Uh, oh, whoa, we got three statted item. Hey, <laughs> yeah. It dropped something not useless. Anything cool in here? There's a drum, not the kind you can play on. Reactor core control rod. Hey, we found a rod. Sick. Uh, Do I take that back to the scientist or do I? Here's another rod. Yeah, your issues. With lots fixed. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, the lots thing I don't think is unique to this update. You just uh, unfortunately encountered it. Locate structure fixed it. Oh, interesting. That's how. That's the recommendation, huh? This must be accessed from another door or something, or maybe it's above us. Go up. Uh, should we ask the scientist? Let's go ask the scientist. And be like, hey, bro, I got the rods. He's hiding inside the reactor. What do we do? We need to figure out the reactor cards to from the basement behind the holding pen. The backup system should have been taken over, but I think it was manually overridden. Okay. Uh, I think this is the part where I'm going to get stuck. Because I know where I have to go. I just don't remember how to get in there. I'll show you. It's near those uh, droidicas. Yeah, it's this room. We have to go and we have to be able to use this elevator. Oh, wait, no, this is not this is wrong. Never mind, guys. What are you guys doing down here? There's nothing down here. What are you doing, you psychopaths? All right, hold on. I'm gonna look. Activate the elevator to descend. Locate mirror lab. Download the remaining two available evidence. The password in the middle screen. Wait, hold on, hold on. The password pops up in the middle of the screen. Download the remaining two available evidence disks. 1230. Okay, so we got to go to the data pad, the data terminals, which those are the ones that we were running into, but. Oh, we already got some of these. Okay, I'm missing one. Maybe I, or maybe I need two. Whatever. Out of the waypoints. Unfortunately, the waypoints don't indicate floors. Oh yeah, that door's locked. Maybe that was the door I was thinking about. Oh, wrong way. Sorry, I'm reading. 
Okay, so we'll do the data, and then I'll deal with these rods. I should go in order so I don't get lost. Well, any more lost than I already am. Luckily, I think we're on the right floor for the second data terminal. If there's something above me, it's going to suck. Oh, wait, other room, maybe? Yes. You have already downloaded evidence from this terminal. So this is data terminal two. This is definitely a quest where I'm like, make sure to get your movement speed buffs. You're going to be running around. I mean, I always recommend go questing with those movement speed buffs. Akaragum, Entertainer, wherever you get it from. Do that first. You're going to do a lot of running at any time you quest. Okay, the cyborg lizards regarding this one. Download complete. This was number one. Okay, and then the last one should be in this room, unless it's on a different floor. Ah, encryption key generator. Doesn't do anything. Man, it's because I already used it. We were in here before. Okay, I think we got all of them. If not, I'll cry later, because then I'd have to redo all this. Okay, so the data from rules we just interact with gave us the information we need, but now we need to go to data terminals to allow access to the reactor room. So there's this one. And then there's the other one, which I clicked already, but I'll go click it again. You have 20 minutes till it resets itself. Okay, so there's a associated timer with it. There we go. Cool. Reactor overload complete. Cool. Okay, so now we gotta go to the reactor room, which I think is this way. There's a waypoint if I get lost. Sorry, this is the series of events where I'm like, shit, how does this go again? <laughs> yeah. I think it's the one that's over this way. No? I was in the room of the crazy scientists. You don't often see a giant underground hangar with a fountain running in the middle of it because I guess they need that for research purposes. Okay, the reactor room is the one back behind the scientist. Hey, fuck off. Crouter overload imminent. Oh my god, hold on. These stormtroopers are working too hard for their paycheck. Okay. So we're going to open the this thing, and I think I'm going to supposed to slot the reactor rods in. Or no, that worked? Uh, automatically taken from your inventory and put in the... This will unlock the control room. You have about 20 instances. Go to the control room, which is now unlocked, and download the final evidence disk. Boris Tarod is right across in the control room if you wish to kill him. <laughs> yeah, I like the phrasing. Ah, if you want to kill him, he's there, but meh. Instinctually, I would think that after you put the rods in there, but nah, you just enter the room, it's like, yoink, and then it just takes them right out of your inventory. Maybe that was sim more simple. And then they'd have to... I guess worry about people dumping stuff in containers that need not be in there. Okay, here's the data terminal. We're gonna download evidence. Complete. So we're actually done in here. But, um... Next, we're gonna take the four evidence disks. 1046, 1173, 1230, and 1784. Do I have four? 1230... 1173. I feel like I'm missing one, right? 1784. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, I have to look around for another one, it looks like. Uh, here's Boars, though. This is the guy who thinks he can take the Emperor on. He's only got 
Sending fi He's as strong as a altered ATST. Yeah, that's just pretty impressive. We are gonna uh, fight him though. Cause why not? We're here. Extra credit, right? I have stopped his plan. Not really that I'm into doing the Empire Fairs, but. Wow, all right. There's that. Okay, I have to find another piece of evidence. And unfortunately, the one that I'm missing. Let's see, I'm missing 10, is it 1046? Yeah, I think I'm missing 1046. Unless that's janky and in my inventory. Uh, okay, found the terminal. It's actually the very first one I was supposed to look at. As far as the walkthrough is concerned, I think it's... Or, might have to go up a level. Yeah. I'm gonna go back up to the Narglatch level. I think I looked at this terminal. Okay, now we have a four, plus the encryption key. Now we are done in here. We have done everything we need to do inside the warren. So I gotta go to feed now. What did I just delete? Wrong waypoint. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, challenge. Uh, do I remember how to leave? It's not that way. Okay, I know where I am. Hey, look, the crack tooth narglash is back. Let's do this. See, he's got, like, some scars on him and stuff. I think. Yeah, like, right there. Well, anyways. We looted something. Oh, this is an isomer. Oh, well. Okay, so we're here at the uh, Theed Royal Palace. On Naboo. And we're going to go over here. Have you ever wondered what this guy is for? This is it. You speak to Captain F. He says, what do you want? I have evidence. <laughs> you guys ever did do that? You just show up to like a place of authority. Be like, I have evidence. And then you just scream that. He goes, what? Let me see that. So Tehran is a traitor. Well, this is all the evidence I need. We'll take care of this at once. That's it. You did it, everybody. Well, I did it. But you could do it, too. Um, it just gives you two badges. <laughs> there they are, worn badges. Um, compassion, that's for helping the wife. And Imperial Hero. Apparently we, uh... We, we rendered great services to the Empire. And as I stand in front of this Imperial Captain in Rebel Regalia. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh... Shit. All right. Well, give me a minute, everybody. Let me get my medic set up. Okay, so we are at the Geonosian Cave here on Yavin Forest, north of the Labor Outpost, southwest of the uh, Mining Outpost. Did a little shortcut to get here, though. But before we go in to the cave right down there, you'll see uh, wandering over here is the Mutant Acklay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, we're going to slay it, though, for the trophy hunting collection, similar to the Baneback Spider uh, collection we were doing or making progress towards uh, when we were doing the Witch of the Dathmere the other day. So let's uh, take this out. Boom. I You didn't see it because of all the loot rocks, but I did get a uh, mutant accolade to your trophy creatures collection. But let's go ahead and uh, run in the Geonosi cave here. There's a few things we want to do. We'll check it out here. Number one is we want to finish helping the imprisoned Geonosi in phase three. This is just us getting our reward for helping him. If you remember way back on Kashyyyk, we helped Geonosi and he was locked up in Kachiro. Um, and he rewarded us. But to get the reward, we had to come here to the Geonosian lab and search the lab. Luckily, we don't have to go too far in to get a reward. So if you want to get the reward and not really go any further into the cave, it's fine. We're going to put my pet to defensive. I guess. 
Oh, yes, you are ranged, aren't you? Oh, you're not hurting that bad. Probably because you're looking at Stoby and not me. But let's. I'm just going to AoE. I'm impatient. Oh, good. You have AoEs there. Piss off my pet. Perfect. So, yes, as you notice, I have Roko and my medic with me again. Uh, while most of this is pretty soloable without the assistance of anyone else, as you can see, those were level 90 elites. It's going to be a little bit on the tough side. My medic will just make this go a little bit faster, and specifically, some of the later bosses will be a little bit difficult solo. We're going to click that to shut off the gas leak. If you have the augmented rebreather from um, Death Watch, you can just run right in. Your rebreather will filter that. Also, I think I missed an NPC on the way in. My bad. My B, there's a scientist hanging out here. Lore, why you're here? Did they send you? I see that you're here. What is the matter with you? Look around. Do you see it? That's a, what is that? See what? I don't, help, help. Are you here? Yes. Now what's going on? Yes, yes, I see you. Now you must go. Go. You want me to leave? No, I want you to leave in there. Outputting back there. Yes, you see the truth when you leave. We can all go, but I must tell you. What is it? The monsters. 32281, is it? You see 32281 monsters. They are 32281. <laughs> That's obviously the passcode. Three, three, two, two, eight, one. Mm, thanks for the warning. What warning? Oh, I forgot. Oh, well, as long as you remember. So it seems that scientist maybe have uh, had a little bit of a hard time recently. Maybe from being experimented on by Geonosians. But as we come down here, if you stop, if you want to add this to your collection, there's the wrist mark 20. It's a pistol. Yeah, you're, you would get a message that says your gas mask diffuses the poison gas. You are able to breathe with no difficulty if you have a filtered rebreather. If not, you're going to take damage, question mark. It's so little, I don't even notice it. So <laughs> don't worry about it. All right, so as we come down here, we're going to find there is an alert droidica. Let's just take him out so we can pass right by. And there's a keypad terminal. Three, two, two, eight, one, right? You successfully entered the code for this door. Sick, and now we can go inside. And now that you're inside, there's a mag seal box here. Gap. Oh no, combat. An enhanced clicknick is attacking me and spitting fireballs. That's amazing. I think my bat's stuck on the door. You dumb little bastard. My goodness, there's another one. They usually don't attack you. I think I was just too close. Anyways, mag seal. Gather the DNA strands. And then once you gather the DNA strands, don't even incubate it, the quest is complete and you're rewarded with the Bolotar, which is a very fast creature mount. Quite high speeds. Alternatively, uh, it, once you generate the creature to your data pad, you can turn it into a stick of DNA, incubate it, and make it a pet. Uh, it's a pretty good pet. Also, we got the hunting trophy for the meat and accolade, which is dropped. So there it is. It's like top of his head. It's kind of funny looking, but. What does the scientist say? Arg, more of those foul creatures have escaped. Wait a minute. How did you get in here? Um. Well, the hole in the mountain was unlocked, so... Sis bit. That must mean the hollow generator is offline. And one more thing, and the list has well gone wrong. What seems to be going on here? The security in our facility has suffered a catastrophic failure. We're doing our best to get it under control. What kind of failure exactly? We recently experienced some type of seismic event. It seems that it have re wreaked havoc with our security si and containment systems. Many of them, my security officer has died as a result. Do you need a hand in getting it under control? Actually, I could use some help. But if you're going further into the compound, you need the code to get through the security door. Punch in the code. Uh, the codes are always the same, by the way, on this one. It's not like the Warren one where they change. Uh, I'm going to just note it because what odds right here. I'd have to look at the wiki anyways, but... Uh, so 12872, and you can get through. There are some things you should watch out for, though. What kind of things? So, simply you need to be aware of the sentry droids and any creatures that might have escaped. 
Okay, what do you want me to do? First thing I need you to do is kill any of those mutant creatures that might have escaped. Then we'll have a good chance of getting this place back control. All right, I'll do my best. Best of luck. Good luck with you, friend. Uh, he doesn't give you a quest, by the way. He just says, please kill. Thank you. Uh, right. One, two, eight, seven, two. And when you're grouped up, the codes at, uh, work for your whole group. Obviously, my medic's coming through the doors, but... You know. Just want to clarify that. I think we have to go this way now. Follow the tunnel straight through the intersection. This will take you to the third door. I'm not messing around with this one. It's so easy to get lost in the Warren. Oh, not the Warren. The Geocave. Because it's like the umpteenth time we've been in a place with... That looks like Death Watch slash uh, ga Station Gamma. Uh, the code for this one apparently is 51892. How do you know that? I don't know. Probably had to go look around or something. NPC will give you a quest. You need the computer codes from his assistant and he'll give you the sh uh, sugar to pass key for the next door. Got it. This guy. Blast the coolant pump is offline too. We we'll need to get that. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, what's happening here? Earthquake has just knocked out the power of a reactor, the backup system. Okay, what does that mean? Unfortunately, that means that the power to our containment system has failed. No doubt you've probably seen some pretty fearsome creatures wandering around. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, there. Uh, now that you mentioned that there is, we have the materials here to repair the reactor, but I can't bring it online without the computer codes. My assistant currently has the codes on his data pad, but I don't know where he is. Okay, what do you need me to do? I need to go find my assistant and bring his data pad back here to me. If you can give me these codes, I'll see what I can wire you a key that will let you through the first security door. All right, I'll come back when I find your assistant. Thank you very much. Come back with the codes and I'll make you the security key. Is this guy? Nope. Apparently I just murdered that guy for no reason. I think the assistant must be one of these guys, right? Oh, it must be this guy at the end of this cave. Oh, I should probably run pups. I'll probably help. Oh no, the debris. Gonna have to cut down this debris with our sword. My sword apparently causes rocks to explode. Spiders. What's good, dudes? We killed a bunch of you in the Dathomir. How many times do I have to choose this lesson, you old spider man? Level 77 elites. Not bad. Could be better. The Geonosian's been tougher. You guys are weak. That's a power switch, so you're not seeing scientists, trash heap. I probably could just grab the waypoint for this. I have a spider sting in the middle of it, kill the spiders, can you straight through? The fire breathing spider. I like how they were just like, let's just make all these things breathe fire. That's different, right? I guess. Is the genius seeing scientists? Glad you're all right. He said, thank goodness you are here in time. That spider was going to kill me. I thought I was for sure gone. I'm not going to repay you. I'm almost just in getting out now. I'll do this so that I can get my wits back. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, he just says, if you need to go to the engineering area, it's 51892. Oh, so that's how you learned the passcode of the room we were just in. I apparently also shot the power to this trash heap. Which has a small ball in it. Which is a Geonosian relic. Potential weapon of uh, hurled with great force. Maybe a prop from a recreational game or it's a small part of a larger machination. The exact use of this object is unknown at this time. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird items you can get in here. The Geonosian power cube is used to craft weapons, I believe. Wait, hold on. Let me just read where this is. Exit the room at uh, the intersection, turn right, which is what we did. 
continue to following the hall straight, you will come to an intersection that will have a spider sitting in the middle of it. Kill the spiders and continue straight through. Okay, so this way. So it's over here. Ah, there he is. There she is. These are crazy Geonosians. It's getting crazy. Speak with the technician's assistant. Thank you for killing these creatures. They've escaped from their cages and they're out of control. Uh, what are you doing down here? I have computer codes that the head engineer needs to get the reactor back in line. I was going to back up in the engineering room, but I can't possibly make it there with all those creatures. The engineer told me to come get the codes from you. Really? That would, you would take them? They are on this data pad. Thank you so much. And we got engineering data pad. An engineering data pad that contains the computer codes. You need to restart the power core of the hidden Geonosium Biogenics Laboratory. What about this? What are you doing? I don't know what this person's doing here, but I wish them well. They are a rebel. Our values align. All right, let's go back. We got to get that pass key if we want to get any deeper in this bug cave. All right, back in with the Geonosian technical system. We found the data pad from his assistant. Are you going to find my apprentice? Did you get the data pad? Is this the data pad you're talking about? Why, uh, yes, it is. Here are the codes. And as promised, here's the key that will let you get past the first security door. Only the first? All the security doors have different locking algorithms. I've had to work on that first door before, so I'm pretty familiar with how it works. However, once you are through there, you're on your own. I see. Thank you for your help. And thank you for yours. Good luck to you. Okay, so now we got to go... Uh... Oh, yeah. Can we see in our inventory? There it is. Hot wired electric passkey. Electronic passkey. A passkey specifically modified to open a specific security door in the hidden uh, uh, Geonos and Biogenics Laboratory specifically. Sorry, they're seizing specific a lot. Head back to the towards the assistant by the intersection that the spiders are turn right. Okay. I gotta wait for my uh, medic. He's coming. So back at this intersection. Turn right. Fourth door. Use your pass key. This is why I typically try not to bring my medic to this, because it kind of trivializes a lot of combat. There's been no danger, but I, again, I'm doing it for the uh, boss counters later. So we're going to use key card. So we actually use the key card on this door. We're going to go in here. Some mercenary sentries. Using some Geonosian weapons. Whoa. You're not Geonosian, though. Uh... Oh, there's also a code to get through if you don't have the pass key. One, two, seven, five, three, apparently. The room after door uh, four has thug spawns. They usually drop decent items, whatever. There's also a little shelf here, but again, generally the only one of those eh, the items in the first room. It's the hand squee. What am I doing down here? <laughs> yeah. Careful of the spawning queens at the end of the hall. Turn right. There's a bunch of debris with spiders on the other side. It's... There's a lot of personal commentary in this walkthrough on the wiki. It's apparently here that says the spiders on the other side of this debris, debris quote, scared me. As in, it scared the author. They are creepy spiders. Um, Load the debris. Take care of the spiders. You can turn right at the and hit the little spawn shelf that's in the sixth story. It's the, the doors, by the way, aren't numbered. They're numbered on the map. That's part of this uh, on the wiki page. So that's what they mean by door five, door six, yada, yada, yada. So this pass key is 11380. It's going to take out the enhanced squeeze in here or click nicks, which again, I guess biological enhancement is just getting things to breathe fire that explodes, which, you know, can't argue with that one.
Oh, this scientist has have none of, their, none of our ship, apparently. Okay. What the hell? What am I doing in here? Thank you. Many thanks indeed, but there are so many more creatures. You must help us kill them. Okay. Thank you. Okay, does they do give you debris code for a security door? 52577. So they're just like, go kill stuff. I don't... What's this do? You have shut off the power to what? I shut off the power to something. You know, it's kind of whack that they made the Geocave and Death Watch Bunker basically out of the same uh, tile sets. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, I'm getting lost. This walkthrough is starting to be like, um, I think it's this. And I'm like, wait, that's not helpful. Get him, Stoby. Five two five seven seven. This is seven eight six six zero. Shit. Good job, Stoby. Oh. I don't know what the code is to get in here. Wait. Oh, it's free real estate. I didn't need a code. They gaslit me. We've got to help them. They're trapped down there. Relax them here to help. Help them in lab two. They're locked in with those monsters. Can we get them out? You need a code 11380. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so he gives you another code. Oh, that's the one I drank. Whatever. Okay, so we gotta go deeper, I think. Let's break the debris. Uh Okay, that was the electricity that I probably turned off from in here. Right? But it's already back on. So it must not last for very long when you turn it off. I don't think it hurts that bad. You can probably just run through it, but whatever. For immersion, let's go uh, flip it back off again. I have no action. My medic's stuck somewhere. It's okay, still be able to go save him. Oh, it's already dead. You have shut off the power. Okay, cool, it is off. It just doesn't stay off forever. Unlike the warn that we were just in, by the way, you're not as locked by cooldowns here, so there's, mul there's multiple groups can move through the Geo Cave with less problems. The bosses are on, you know, a spawn timer, though. So there's that. You'll be fighting over boss spawns, but you could you could still, like, get other loot. Like the Geonosian, like, stuff or whatever. My medic's stuck again. Oh, boy, cavern spider. Okay. So this is one of the uh, three bosses. This is the Unstable Reek. Like the Narglatch and the Bat, it has like a chance to drop DNA. Again, I don't know what the odds are, but, you know, 50% sounds about right. Let's kick his butt, though. This is not the boss I was worried about soloing, by the way. I am very confident we could have soloed this one. And I'm not worried about the next one. It's the last one where I was like, you know, yeah, I don't really think I can do that. As I remember doing it as a solo Beastmaster medic and it taking a bit of time. So if anything, if I could solo it, this will at least make it go faster. Does 
Yeah, yes, click Nick. Get him. All right, there's a big rock in the way. Don't worry, I brought a knife. Can't stop me. Force click, Nick. It can use the force, which apparently is spitting fireballs that explode. How is that different than an enhanced click, Nick? It's completely different. I don't know what you're talking about. I think the main difference is that one's level 88 and the other one's also level 88. 45k health. Wait, what is the difference actually though? 30k health. The force click nick's weaker than the enhanced click nick. So I guess maybe these, even though these are rare and there are fewer of them, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> it's not worth thinking about. Spaghetti code stuff, yada yada, old pre CU CU dungeon. I think pre CU. I think this one was pre CU for sure. Um, ye yieldy dungeon. Just whack. The only reason I'm pretty confident this one's pre-CU is I remember people telling me about spending a lot of time pre-CU farming the last boss of this dungeon for uh, its loot drops. So shoutouts to whoever that was weaving me that tale. It stuck with me. Apparently. Alright, uh... Uh, is this a 7 one? Shit. Wait. I can't just go in, right? No. Seven, eight, six, six, zero. Yeah? No. Was this five, two, five, seven, seven? Yay. Okay, it was that one. We're on the second to last code door, apparently. I kind of gave up using the walkthrough part way through, and I've just been using the codes. All right, we're coming up on the second boss here. Let's just take out this click nick and cavern spider so they don't interfere with our gamer might. All right, here's the unstable Nexu. It has 140,000 health, so uh, that's like the same as the Reek or maybe a little bit more. Then he has to make scatter one in charge. Basically a feline again. This one has a percent chance to drop Nexu DNA. Another popular feline option. It's got that movie swag, specifically that episode two Geonosi Arena swag. I'm sh so based on that now, you could probably guess what the final boss is if you didn't already know. The first one was the Reek and the second was the Nexu. Alright, didn't drop dick. Wait. Yeah, okay. I thought I saw I read something I thought I saw something weird in my inventory, but uh no. I was just seeing shit. Whoa, watch out, boxes. Stay down, medic. I got the boxes. I don't understand how these clicknick penetrated their box defense. It seemed impenetrable. And took me with a knife to get through here. I don't know how the spiders got around it. I don't think I actually ever talked to this guy before. Thank thank you for rescuing me, but I've been hurt. I don't know if I can make it out. Hang in there, you'll be alright. No, no, no. But that's okay. I was trying to salvage data from what's left of the computers. This was all I could get before the monster's attack. You take it, put it to good use. Thank you, I will. Be careful, the terrible creature locked in and then gives us the 78660. I don't know what data did you give me. Uh, That was from the Warren. There's nothing in this chemical reactor. Wait, do I put the ball in there? That won't fit. What about this brain? That won't fit. What about this cube? I literally don't know what that is for. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Let's go do the boss. I don't I'm like, does it say in this walkthrough what the hell that is? I don't know. All right, so here is the last door, which has some toxic fumes in front of it. Cough, cough. We're gonna enter the last code here. Seven, eight, six, six, zero. Enter. Successfully enter the code for the door. And if we enter here, 
Uh, there is a enhanced Kui. That is not the last boss. That is just merely one on the stepping stone of our destiny. Here's the Cavern Spider. Again, not the boss. Gotta clear the arena for this one. We gotta fight the Acklay. So, canonically, based on Star Wars Galaxy's appraisal of these mutated creatures, canonically, Obi-Wan had the toughest fight in the Geonosian arena of Clone Wars, because the Acklay is a little bit tougher than those last two. Let's see exactly how tough this one is. Level 93 with, uh... 1.3 million health on Legends. That is a... <laughs> that's an entire decimal place higher HP. So, yeah, this is the only reason I brought my Medic with me, is to fight this. I have soloed this before with my Medic, as um, the fight's not terrible, but, again, my Officer build won't cut it here for um, soloing memes. I'll do some uh, Shadow Paw for a little bit more damage. Biochrist for a little bit more HP. Rust the Buffs rocking. Looking good. Uh, refresh the Berry Wine. It does do a dot. All right, everybody. <laughs> We're going in hard. Forgot to use Charge. <laughs> Every time. Put a, put a credit in the jar. Forgot to use charge. I'm going to take out the cavern spider. Because screw it. I pulled it anyways. That's a lot of HP. Glad I'm my medic as a beast master. Because uh, having this pet here to help out. It's helping with survivability. But also just more damage is more damage. I don't even really need to use scatter for defense. Guess I should probably be proccing it for inspiration, huh? Halfway there. We're out of action. Getting unlucky in the procs. Oh, the spiders are starting to respawn. That's how long it's taking to kill this guy. Or I guess that's how short the spider spawn timers are. I believe the spawn timers for... The Acklay, Nexu, and Reek are like 30 minutes or 2 hours. Might be 2 hours. Ah, there we go. I knew I was forgetting to scatter. Oh, he has clicking and shooting fireballs at me. I will switch targets to get rid of it. Stop moving around. Got no action. They heard me. They heard me. Almost there. Was that like a, like an eighth left? Wow. I just ignored the spider. I was like, screw it. I always will get it eventually. My pet has a wind buffet, which is a cone of effect. So it's getting hit by my four, my five AOEs plus Stoby, my pet. All right, almost there. Let's see what loot we get. We're gonna get some Acklay Bones. Uh, do Venom Glands still drop? Probably, right? Or whatever it was. We looted a... Just just some stat loot, so no interesting loot. So the Acklay does not drop DNA. To get an Acklay, you need to get a first stage mutation off a of Clicknick. To get a Mutant Acklay, you need a third stage mutation off a of Clicknick. So pretty rare. Also pretty popular. Oh yeah, I forgot the Kui Adrenal Boost. You look at these off the enhanced Kui, and it's a gross ass food buff. Yucky. All right. Well, that's basically all of the Genosian cave. We expedited it a little bit by looking up the codes, but we did actually go and find the appropriate scientists for a good number of them. The Kui's kicking me. Little bastard. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what this chemical reactor thing's about. Uh, if the chemical reactor does anything, I can't easily find what it does. So if anyone knows what this is, chemical reactor, putting chemicals in it will change the makeup of an experiment. If everyone knows what this was for, let me know. I'm just curious. Put it in the comments of this video or whatever.
All right, well, again, that was the Warrior and the Geonosian Cave. So we knocked out two of the three um, overworld dungeons, as I like to call them. Uh, we will do Death Watch Bunker eventually. I'll likely call in some reinforcements for that one. Otherwise, it would be quite slow solo. I can do it so solo. It's just on the slow side. Uh, but thanks again for tuning in. Next time, we might get into something a little bit more lo longer form. We'll see what's on the to-do list. But thanks again, everybody, and see you next time.